Hello, and welcome back to Sucker for Love. Today, we got a new date to go to, but we need all the secrets. We need to find all three secrets to unlock this one. So, let me show you how to Sucker unlock them. Love. First, date. First one we're gonna need to go to is after we get the Eldritch Mouse. So, that already smells go. delicious, darling. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna skip all this. You just have to open this. I believe it's back here. It's right here. So, you do this. Oh. Yeah, the game also count them in a little bit of a weird way. But anyway, that is step one. Now. Sucker for love. First date. Now the other two are here somewhere. So I believe that if I go here... An immaculate performance, dearest! Yay! Fantastic. Now, the one I have found, one of them we have found together last time, was in this book somewhere. It was... Right here. Do this. You do this, you mess it up, and a hungry, uninvited guest may arrive. So let's just... I guess normally it's supposed to launch, but since we already got it, it doesn't. But this is the one. This is number two. And number three, as I happen to found out, is a little bit more well hidden. You need black light, and you need this. It's at the end of this book. Black fire reveals secrets. And if you do this... <laughs> we got number two again, but we in reality have number three. So now we're ready to go. For, love. First date. for third date. Let's go. Chapter 3, Neon Lafotep's Catastrophe. Hmm. I wonder how having a pair of hands like fear this... Fear of the unknown is the single strongest fear of mankind. Terrors from beyond the borders of knowledge. And yet, the truest horror has been in mankind's cradle since the beginning and walks the earth amongst us now. For true evil exists not in the devil unseen, but the devil seen and unrecognized. When you meet her, you realize that tucking away the rest of the horrors to the unseen corners of the stars is a blessing. A shade of a thousand manifestations, each more horrific than the last. All right. She serves only one, whose chaotic and phantasmagorical wishes she obeys with extreme prejudice. Phantasmagorical? I'm interested now. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. She tall. I love it. Well, well, well. You're the one that Renetta calls darling and that Esther calls dearest, aren't you? Yes. You can call me whatever you want. And apparently it's dog. I... I... This dread. It's like when I first met Lynetta, but this time it's sustained. Like a taste of constantly being breathless. B breathless. Breath... Breathless. Words. The very air has become unfamiliar and alien to me, saturated with infinite malevolence. It is impossible to breathe. Well, I mean, of course you're breathless. You're looking at this. I mean, damn, you know? The veil has been pierced and the outer cosmos has revealed its limitless cruelty in the form of this avatar of insidious implication. It's very presence I s 
Its very presence assail my mind, turning it against itself and all, all that is decent. There's a terminal precipice, I learned. That terror not only haunts, it's, it speaks. Speak up. I'm an older god, so I'm a little hard of hearing. Are you or are you not the human that has been dating my nieces? Yes, but I can start dating you. Normally I'd have an ounce of defiance in me and I'd demand that she introduce herself first. But now I feel... I feel it in my very bone. I'm being talked down to by someone far beyond me and far taller than you as well. I... I... I am. Good. Would you like a cup of hot tea? A cold glass of water? Um, you're offering me something to drink? You've been through a lot. I just wanted to ensure you're at ease for now. No, I just mean it's odd for you to be a guest in my room and offer me something. Are you certain this is your room? Kind of looks like it. You have done a bit of redecorating as I can see here and here, but... Uh, the very floor beneath my feet feel mercurial and unreliable. Shifting nightmarishly in non-Euclidean vertigo. Who... who are you? Who am I? I am the obscure, the unutterable. I am the crying chaos. And you're my next smooch. When mankind pushes out into the unknown, I am the unknown that pushes back. But just like my troublesome nieces, you can just call me Auntie Nyan Nyan. You got it. I, uh... Unlike with Lynetta or Esther, I can't overcome this un unnerving presence overwhelming my senses. I feel violently sick. <laughs> never been visited by someone so high up in rank as me, have you? I've never been with s visited by someone quite as tall as you either. Silly question. There's only one that outranks me, and if you had met her, neither of us would still exist. She's even taller than you? My lord. Ominous vistas of terror open from every corner of my mind. I want to run, shrieking and wailing, and alas, I've nowhere to go. My, my, you're still holding on, eh? I expected you to last long enough to chat, but it seems you're nearing your limit. I can chat with you all day, baby. Let me offer you some words of assurance. I'm the last outer god you'll ever have to see. All right. What, what do you mean? I mean that things are about to return to abnormal. <laughs> oh. Eldritch horrors will return to being obscure boogeymen that stalk unbeknownst to their prey. The veil shall be lowered again until the gate opens and mankind is eradicated. In other words, you'll never see me or my family ever again. Okay. But why? Why do you want to split us up? Did you know that even amongst gods there are things that are strictly taboo? Well, no, because it's a god thing, so... You see, whenever mankind starts exploring too far too quickly, you accelerate the end of all things. So we appear to slow things back down. We scare you back to the safety of the familiar. We whisper evils and destructive mantras to the most dangerous of your kind to ensure progress slows. Because the longer you stay afraid, the longer you live. To put it simply, once mankind isn't afraid of us anymore, everything will come to an end. Humans are doomed to explore, and once mankind makes the last discovery, once mankind reaches the edge of the map, you'll fall off. Ah. 
That's kind of a problem. So if there's one thing that is certain amidst this infinite cosmos... Smooches. ...it's that for all of time, our relationship is shepherd and livestock, as we set the pace to the slaughterhouse. In that context, outer gods and humans being romantically involved is beyond taboo. But think of the smooches. It's upsetting the natural order and is a conflict of interest, to say the least. But smooches. Now, all of this I can forgive because my troublesome nieces led you astray. Okay. I know you didn't mean to participate in such a grave taboo. Right. Well, if the taboo involves smooches, I want to participate in all of them. I guess I didn't know. Good. Then we can work together to ensure it'll never happen again. You're familiar with these books, yes? I had one made for just this occasion. Do what needs to be done. Perform the Banish Moo ritual. What? What will it do? Mu is the bookmaker, so it will prevent eldritch gods and humans from dating ever again. I'll have to look up what Mu is exactly, but anyway. No more books can be made, and the entity responsible for bridging the gap between our realms will be destroyed. Oh, poor Mu. Our relationship will return to strictly business, in a manner of speaking. I don't want... Do not force me to remind you the grave seriousness of the situation. I promise you've never seen anything like what I can do. But I want to see what you can do. Have you thought of that? Of course I want to talk to the giant woman in my room. The giant cat woman to boot, so you know. Well, what are you waiting for? Perform the ritual. I want to smooch first. And a hug. A hug as well. I had a question first. What is it? How come you're so tall? The other god I've met didn't have so much trouble standing in my bedroom. Uh, I'm not always this tall. Sometimes I'm shorter, sometimes I'm taller. I have over a thousand forms. And I want to smooch all of them now. And this one is a two-story tall cat girl in high heels? 37 of my forms are... Nice. But what... what exactly are you? Well, when it comes to the unknown, trying to explain something is a good way to ensure you'll never understand it. Yeah, that's kinda how it works. Huh? Let me make an example. How about love? Why don't you try to explain love to me? Love is smooches and smooches is love. Let me demonstrate. Uh, well, I guess it's like chemical in my brain that tell me to instinctively pass on my genes. Is that what it felt like to date my nieces? To smooch them? Some mere chemicals in your skull? Well, it's part of it. Hell no. Do you see now? The more you try to explain love on a technical level, the further you get from what it actually feels like. And the more you try to understand what I am, the less you'll know. You two-story tall woman. It's cat woman. I have more questions. Hey, I... You ask far too many questions. Sometimes things are best left unexplained. Yeah, but not always. Need this advice. Sometimes the unknown is best kept at arm's length. You know what I want to watch right now? I want to watch Over the Garden Wall, which is a very, very good cartoon. And it plays into the unknown. But anyway, that's for me. But I'm giving you something to do if you're bored. What do you mean? Do you know where time came from? How it started? Or why it only moves forward? Well, it would be confusing if it moved backward. No, not the faintest clue. But you probably wouldn't have any trouble telling me what time it is, right? Even if you don't know what time actually is or where it came from. That's what I mean. Arms linked. Me and my family. 
Aw, oh, we can't ask her more question. Hmm. Alright. Banish Moo. I don't want to banish Moo. Moo's a cool guy, girl, or whatever he is. Or she is. Whatever it is. There's a lot of page in there. Can I move it using... No, I cannot. I am so sorry. She forced me to make this book. She said she'd spare me if I'd let you banish me instead. To destroy me, draw this symbol. Enchants... Goodbye. I hope that love will be your black fire and tall darkness. I mean... Let's, uh, let's banish move first, I guess. You know, do do what the giant cat lady is telling us to do. I don't know why we need to do it, but... Then we'll figure it out the rest. So you are as wise as you are lecherous. That is good. Smooch now? I expected you to be an insolent, uncompromising philanderer. You can imagine my disappointment to have found you actually quite agreeable. Then all is settled. The bridge between our realms is severed for good. C can can I just go home now? This may look like your room, but I promise that you've traveled a long way from home. Yeah, so I'm asking you if I can go back home. Far enough so that you will find it quite impossible to return. So it's you, me, and this room. And you have nowhere to run because you can't even stand. I like where this is going. Wait, hold on. I, I did the spell. I'm not danger. I'm no danger to you anymore. I know that very well. You've just seen the precipice of the abyss and flinched. There's nothing left of you to be concerned with. However, that banishment ritual made it so neither you nor I can travel to the realm of man ever again. Just a precaution. Call me Thorough. So I am stuck here with you. You will stay here where I can keep my eye on you. Where any romantic escapades of yours will not endanger us all. Because it'll only be the two of us. But, but, but I... Rarely do I bother myself with the affairs of humans. But it was a smooch, wasn't it? The treasure for which you traded your life how many times? Yes. Curious. Then allow me... <laughs> yes. Is this sufficient? That's all you need to smooch me, right? Three hearts and a big glowing button. They'll do. I am well versed in human courtship, but am curious as to what made my nieces bicker over you so incessantly. <laughs> now that you don't pose a threat. Now then, come to me, human. If you don't mind smooching an old cat like me. I don't mind it at all. Come here. We're missing a face, and there's a lot of people watching us. But I'm in for it. Alright. Um, Alright. So that's one of the ending. How about the other one? Oh yeah, but total darkness. There we go. Am I still not in total darkness? I am not. Here it is. Oh, ho. banish Nyaran Totep. You didn't think I was gonna turn my back on you, did you? We can beat her together. There's still hope for love. So draw this symbol instead. Wearing your ritual amulet, chants. Whatever that is. <clears throat> Ooh, and we already got all the spells. Counterville Porosity. If all appear in your hand, you've been cursed by porosity. Look like this. I look like a little face. The hole will multiply until you are no more. Wear the mask. Stand in front of a mirror. Chant until the hole are filled. Oh, that's the, the mask we got here. I'm gonna take this. Uh, I chorus swarm. 
A sudden plague of insect appearing means it's likely she's attacking with the Anichorus Swarm. Immediately light red fire candle to distract them temporarily. Grab your ritual knife, a single a single bite will cause paralysis and painful agonizing death shortly after. The ritual knife is not for self-defense. Chance alright. Countervel Tenebrosity. Counter evil. Oh, I don't know why I read that as countervail, but it's counter evil, all of them. If the light go out and won't turn on, you are cursed by the tenebrosity horror. There is no such thing as an innocent sound or shape in the shadow. You must complete this ritual before the darkness takes dominion. Ensure this symbol is nearby. And Chen Tree Time. Uh, counter evil caustic humor. All right. If you feel a burning sensation in your blood and your flesh begin to melt, you are cursed by the caustic humor horror. Put a mask and a robe on as quickly as possible to preserve your form. With the mask on, wash your face. You will not like what you see if you do not wear the mask. Wash until burning abates. All right. Countervilp psychic scream. If you hear something strange that is getting louder with time, it is not just your imagination. It can kill you. Go outside. If you can see the source of the strange noise, cast this counter evil. Alright. Writing on the wall. Uh, never trust any written word beside mine. If writing has begun to appear anywhere in your home, writing on the wall is after you. Ensure that there is no writing on your body. Check your mirror often, watch any, wash any writing off your face. You wrote it without realizing it. Do not touch your chalkboard. Chen tree time. Alright. Counter evil tormentor. If you hear suspicious voice calling out to you, check your window. If you see something upsetting, do not go outside no matter what you hear. Do not open your door. Enchant. Counter evil idiot's reflection. My lord, there's so many of them. If you hear scratching glasses, check your reflection. If you see something strange, run away from the mirror immediately. Do not make eye contact or touch the mirror in any way. Retreat into your bedroom and turn off all the light. Reflection can exist where there is no light. If it gets in the room, there is nothing you can do. Alright. If you are unable to speak or perform incantation, you have been silenced. Do not try to scream. Grab the ritual knife and go to the bathroom with a mirror. Use the mirror to cut out for an object in your mouth. And let's counter evil silence. How many more? Counter evil spirit away. If you start to turn invisible while you move, you are being spirited away. They are looking for you. They want to take you away. Don't bother hiding. Pretend to be alive by standing in a room as well lit as possible and remain perfectly still. Hold your breath. Do not move so much as a finger while they pass through. So I guess don't move this. Counter evil taker. Routinely check that your doors are still closed. If they are ajar, close them. You only have moments to do so. If he enter your home, he won't leave without taking something with him. However, if you wear a mask and have a life form on your person, he may spare you and leave without uh, with only the life form. If you make if you wake up unharmed, he has taken you to a deal. This will only protect you once. Also, I have to check that my door aren't open with this one. All right. Finally, the last one. Counter evil final fear. There is no telling what will happen if she used this hex against you. If her true form reveal itself outside your home, there is nothing we can do to stop her. I'm sorry. We gave it our best shot. I hope that the end comes swiftly. All right. Uh, that's a lot of things. So, to recap, we have to do this, and after we've done this, I believe that of all the ritual, this is the only one that needs a marking, and we want to have the mask, the robe, and basically everything else on us. So, this. Well, let's get the show on the road then. 
uh, wearing your ritual amulet chants. Looking for this dog? Kind of. I like it actually. You may be capable of pulling a fast one on my nieces, but nothing escapes my gaze. I think you'll find it quite impossible to cast that counter evil without this amulet. Uh oh. Now, my stray sheep, it's time I shepherd you back in line. But uh, first. But first? <gasps> a smooch? Or maybe not a smooch? Health? Okay. So. This. 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 And flesh become porous. All right, that's one of the first one. Uh, all appear, yeah, 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 yeah. Wear the mask in front of a mirror. Got it? I'm in front of a mirror, and then chant this until the holes are filled. Three times the charm. Do you believe your mind is still on your side? Nah, it's kind of going away. Do you still trust it? We'll see who it sides with soon. Yeah. Your voice won't be heard again. Oh. Hey. I remember what to do. Nice. Noise. What do I have to do for noise again? Uh, not this one. Nope. This one. Uh, if you get to hear something strange, get louder with times. Just your imagination can kill. Go outside. Okay, go outside. Okay, I think that's the. Was that too easy for you? We've only begun to lift the veil. Yeah, that's what Let's I was afraid of. Let's see how you handle the next one, dog. Um, there's a lot of shadows. Shadows. Uh, yes, you must complete the ritual before the darkness take the meaning. Alright, just chant this tree time. I'm guessing that's what it is, at least. Hmm, I expected those to be a challenge. Yeah, I kind of fly through those, didn't I? These next horrors won't be so easy to dispel. Mm -hmm. I've walked the earth while man was still rocking in its cradle. I know not What's only happening? what scares oh, you, uh... but what terrified every single one of your ancestors. So, the one where... I can get spirited away, which is this one. Uh, pretend to be alive, sending room as well as possible. And just don't move. That's what I gotta do, right? And then just don't move. Is my room not well lit enough? Is this the issue? I guess I can open Here's it. An eye opener for you. Oh. Impressive Wraith appear. Alright. Am I not moving? Oh, there it is. Are you naked under this? I kind of want to see what's happening under this uh, this thing here. Uh, you, you go, you go on your way. You do your thing, and it's gone. I think. Starting to have trouble. Are these horrors becoming too challenging for you to withstand? Honestly, it's kind of alright so far. <laughs> oh, you can't begin to imagine the horrors I can show you. Yeah, I bet. And soon, you won't have to imagine. 
What's that outside your window? Okay. Uh. All right. I just saw word. Um. Why is? It? Oh, I guess because there's lights everywhere. Can I see? Yeah, I can. All right. Writing on the wall. There's writing on the wall. Let's let's fix this first. I think there is something else. So there was no word on me, right? Alright. Uh, then chance. Then wash it off. What's going on in there? Let me in. In a minute. Chant again. Wash it off. Third time is the charm. You think I'll let you become a legend? Right. I may become a legend. So now there's something about noise somewhere. Uh, no, that's not the one. That's not the one either. Alright. Uh, oh wait, was it uh, this one? Something upsetting? Uh, yeah, I have seen something upsetting at my window. Do not open the door for a chance. You haven't surrendered yet, dog. I, I'm impressed. Oh, thank you. You've got backbone for a human of your age. Hmm. Yeah. But I doubt your will to survive will last much longer. All right, nothing happening here. Is it the stalker this time with the door thing? I don't see anything else. Suffering is born. Okay. Meaning... Meaning what exactly? Ah. So it is him. Alright, so just don't let him in. Well, that's gonna take a hot minute. How are you doing today? I, I hope the answer was good. And if you do want to answer, don't forget you can write in the comment. Nothing super special is happening at the moment. I'm staring at this door, making sure that whatever it is that I want to get in, do not. And it doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. I just imagine this dude trying to get in here like, no! And then you close the door on his face. And then he comes back and he's like, but, 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 I want to go in. It's like people trying to sell you, you know, like door-to-door -door salesmen. Hello, I have an insurance for you that you probably don't need and it's gonna cost you about 10 times as much as the one you already have. Interested? For real though. Eh, could you... Yeah, it's just like them. They don't take no for an answer. They have nothing else to do today except this. I thought he might, uh, you know, faint me out and try to go through the window. But I guess he doesn't. Which is good. Because this door opening makes no sound. At all. And also something I was wondering about uh, Auntie Nyan Nyan. If you look more at her buttocks, she happened to have what looks like white fur, but she's clearly blue. You know? So is her furry butt actually white or blue? And it's the effect of a dress doing something. What? Just get out of here, dude. No. 
I know it said that I could have a life form on me, but as long as I don't let him in, that should work, right? Because that's what he does. Plus, this counter evil only works once. So if I sacrifice the life form, then I don't have anything else to protect myself with. So if he comes back, I'm boned. You do have to insist a long time for him to stop. Do I have to go out there to confront him and just be like, no, get out of here. It's my house. Well, I don't know. He's done. Hmm. Nope, he's not done. Well, I'm guessing he's a little bit like the, the thing that tried to spirit me away. And it takes a minute for him to just cut it out. You can stop, man. It's up to you. Okay, dude, if you come back, how about I sell you this poster? Would that make you feel better? Did you accept my offering? I'll take that as a no. I mean, this is what I'm supposed to do, right? Ooh. Calm down. I'm supposed to not let him in. And if if he does get in, I, if I happen to have a life form on me and I'm wearing a mask, then he has a chance to accept the deal and take the life form and leave me alone. But if I prevent him from coming in, then everything's fine, isn't it? Do I not understand how this works? You know what? I'm gonna grab the life form just in case. And I'm gonna check. And I'm also gonna go back down and take a look at the door from time to time, just to be safe. There. I was, I was on the right page. Now I need to wait for him to calm down. A routinely check that your door is still closed and if they are ajar, close them. You only have a moment to do so. So far so good. If you enter your home, you won't leave without taking something with him. Yeah, so if I keep closing, I'm good. Right? Uh, however, if you wear a mask... Don't. Well. Sound of scratching glass nearby. So I guess I just have to... Oh no. I don't remember which one this is. That's right, I have to get the heck out. To add to. Uh, shut off everything. This, this one. Uh, do not make eye contact or touch a mirror in any way. Retreat into your bedroom and turn off all of the light. Reflection can exist where there is no light. If you get in the room, there is nothing you can do. And chance. You survived all that. Just one human. Yeah, I do that sometimes. In such a short time, becoming hot. Is hot the thing you're looking for? I can't for? believe it. You're no average human. Mm hmm But you still can't escape me. She must be running out of tricks now. The ultimate wrath of the clawing chaos is upon you. 
You're not gonna use your final curse to kill me. Hold right? fast and prepare yourself, dog. I will. I've lasted this long, I'm not stopping now. I'm not afraid. <laughs> then you lack imagination. There's a high chance of that. Oh, the music got uh, a little bit cooler. See, this is what I was talking about. Furry butt. Maybe it's this flowing dress thing. It kind of tints things in white. Hmm. I would rather she has a furry blue butt. You know, to stay consistent with everything. Still alive, dog. Oh, I'm uh, becoming transparent. Lights. All the lights. All of the lights. And now just don't move. Here's an eye opener for you. It's the naked ghost back again. A he naked ghost or a she naked ghost? You know what? I'm gonna let my imagination run wild and say that it's a she ghost. Cause I would rather a she ghost trying to grab me than a he ghost. Imagine you take off that thing and you have a nice muscular man with a beautifully trim mustache coming at you. And that's kinda hot though. Hmm. So you know what? Never mind. The rave is still making a noise, so I'm guessing I'm not supposed to move yet. My flesh becomes porous. Alright. Well, uh, that's a problem. So, in front of a mirror, and I have to... Right after this? Oh, before this. I wear the mask and chance until the holes are filled. Silenced. I'm guessing that's what it means. Freedom? And I can hear the thing yelling. And it's outside, right? Yes, it is. It's a man and a man and a man. In a man. In a man. In a woman? Oh, now we got shadows. How do shadows work again? It's an process. Uh, you must complete this ritual before mistake. darkness. There is no such thing as a missing cell. Blah blah blah. Interest symbols nearby. If the lights are out, you won't. oh, they turn off the light. Oh, and I have to chant three times. What's that outside your window? Answer the door. Hurry. Uh, okay, I got two things going on again. So if there is something upsetting at my window, there is. And there's writing. So, let's take our writing first. Who? Uh, do not touch. Alright, do I have writing on me? I do not. Chance, baby! Wash it off. In a minute, dear. I'm a little bit busy washing myself. I want to be presentable. Well, uh, which one? Tormentor? Hear suspicious voice calling you, just chant this. You, you're still standing? How? Because of my legs! In fact, the longer this has been going on, you've seemed more and more resolved. Well, yes, I mean, you've seen yourself. I want to smooch from that. It's not possible. There's no emotion stronger than fear, and no fear more powerful than fear of the unknown. But how about the lust for the unknown? Have you ever thought of that? That's not true. Humans don't fear the unknown. Never, never have. If you think we do, you haven't been paying attention. Even Sailor, the moment, the most suspicious... 
<laughs> sure, let's try this again. Even Sailor, the most superstitious human that ever walked the earth, set sail to the edge of a world they were sure was flat and inhabited by sea monsters. We've been inventor, explorer, astronaut. Hell, we take holidays to places we've never been for, for fun. <laughs> You're not even stuttering anymore. Why aren't you cowering before me? Because you're tall and beautiful and I want to smooch. Because you were wrong, Auntie Nyan Nyan. There's one emotion stronger than fear. There's one feeling that every living thing knows. And it's way stronger than fear. It, it can't be. It's love. Wrong. No, fool, it's lust. What? You think the male praying mantis no fear while he's getting some? Hell no! Ridiculous! You're saying pure lust is keeping you from being scared of me? Well, yes, have you seen yourself? You're a tall cat lady. Core lust is the, bon the power of boner is stronger than anything. Hey, ever heard of the suspension bridge effect? They say when two people face danger together, they fall in love. Not when one of them is the danger. Yeah, yeah, for you got one on me there. You, don't you understand the cruel indifference of the infinite cosmos? I mean, you're here because you care, right? Your world, your reality, everything you know and love, it's all meaningless and could vanish in an instant. Maybe. Even as we speak. Your son spins around the precipice of terminal oblivion. Ha! Huh, idiot. The only thing that the sun's spinning around is the earth and every human on it. That's not how it works, but alright. And that's not all. There's more you don't realize. You really think I'm, I'm meaningless because I'm human, right? You think I'm the lowest of the low, an insignificant speck, not worthy any attention. And yet here I am, in your dream. <gasps> yes, you get it now. I've got that right, don't I, Auntie Nyanya? If I'm here with you, it's because you're dreaming about me. It means I'm in your head just as much as you're in mine. I think the truth is that you're terrified of me. You're terrified of the speed at which I'm meeting the unknown and planting a big wet one on it. I'm terrifying enough to have invaded your dream after all, right? You've come face to face with the greatest threat to your power and nothing you can throw at him can stop him. And after all this, after meeting Lynetta, serving Esther's whim and being subjected to the worst you have to offer, I, got, I gotta say, it was all pretty fun. Now tell me, does this sound like it's my nightmare or is, it, is this yours? It's my win, Auntie Nyan Nyan. It can't be. You, you think you can turn the tables on me? According to the music, I say it's kind of working. I already have. You're the second most powerful god and you fear me. It's only a matter of time before I did every single god you know. I'm going to leap into the great, uh, the great unknown cosmos and smooch that too. Starting with you. Fuck her up, Auntie Nyan Nyan. You've earned it. Whoa. He... He... Smooshed you? Escaped from me. Ah, oh, that's something different. A human too lustful to fear anything. Yep. Could such a thing even exist? What horror. As soon as any of us dreams again, he undoubtedly will return to haunt our hearts once more. Oh, I'm never getting a good night's sleep with him on the loose. Well, I mean, he's a human, so he's not gonna live forever, right? Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs>
dedicated to my brilliant wife, Caroline Hunter. You make me a real sucker for love. Oh. This game is absolutely amazing. It was a fun little game to play. And you! It's us! Uh, I know that normally I don't let the, the credit roll, but such a nice, nice song. I'll, I'll have to look this song up too, because I want to listen to it closely, but let's load check that. Let's see if we're missing anything. So we got everything here. I know we're missing a few things here. True ending achieve. Four is six. Yep. So we're missing just those two. Uh oh. Oh my. Well, let's go do that. So, how am I gonna do this? Hmm. So, we've done everything to please her, so all those. So, if I do this. Delicious. Just as perfect as last time. It's very dark in here. One, I've already dealt with. Alright. Things are happening, but nothing is happening, so let's meet. Try to do that again. Delicious. Nope, the game don't want to do that. All right, so another one. Nope. All right. Well, um, how am I gonna do this then? Sucker for love. How, how about I load it from here? Does this work? Aha! Awesome. Success! Alright, so we already know all this. So now, where am I at? What's happening? So she's at nothing. Um, so the invitation is the first thing we gotta do and we've done it, so everything's fine. The next one's the masquerade, but... We have done what she wanted. Return. Oh, I was on this. All right. So if I go here and take a look at this for a hot second, yeah, this happened. All right. Now we can go for it. Huh? Hey, I have a squid face. I think. I believe I do at least. I sure as heck do! Alright, so. Step one of pissing her off. Okay, you're here. Now let's do this. Why is the people at the working next to my window? Anyway, don't worry about it, it's my problem. Uh, apply masquerade max to host's face. Adorn the host in elegant robe. Fix a ritual knife to the host person. Uh, I got everything except the mask. All right, everything is good. When all's complete, look in the mirror to ensure the costumes prepare properly. You've got it. Well, I have uh, the mask and everything, but and I looked in the mirror, but I don't wear the mask. Oops. Um. How am I... I'm slightly confused. 
Can I not... Oh, the mask won't stay on my face, just keeps slipping off. Ah. That metamorphosis spell must have made my face incompatible. Hi! Aren't you in proper dress, dearest? I am in proper dress, but I'm not in proper mask, though. <laughs> just having pre-show jitter, getting the mask on, it's tricky with my hand shaking so Jitters. much. Yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, I look like a playboy, but I still get nervous in front of a pretty girl like you. Dearest, you love your king, yes? Yes. Y yeah. And you would never lie to her, correct? <laughs> never. Wouldn't dream of it. Then tell me, what happened to your face? Well, I'm in the process of eating squid. I try to avert my gaze, but her iron, gr her iron grasp hold my chin firmly in place. Her long, sharp nail ding into my cheeks. What an unfortunate accident, and an even more unfortunate phase. Yep. For now, we shall conceal that hideous visage of yours beneath the hood of your robe. Hopefully, this won't affect your performance. Hopefully. And in the interest of not having further. Accidents. You will have my undivided attention from now on. Yeah. You may express your gratitude to your king. Can I give you a smooch? Thank you, your highness. Oh, and dearest, one more thing. I may not be as barbaric as my sister, but I assure you I can be twice as dreadful. Do not give me cause to demonstrate. Yeah. Alright. So. Now, let's finish everything with her. Uh, setting interior well lit. Alright. Let's put on some more lights. Everything is good. We are dressed for the occasion, I think. I don't know what I just grab or left, but everything's fine. Uh, all right, have we already seen this because it's the regular show. What we want to see is the ending now. And I'm just gonna keep going with her thing for now. <coughs> Success. <laughs> Performance, dearest. Bravissima, there's only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine. Yay. Probably should have asked before we got the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite. Yeah, and you're lying. So, for your sake, dearest. Do the fucking scene. Alright, now. Next one. Uh, prepare to uh, retrieve ingredient, red fire, got that, allow the king into the room, the king is already here, I think it's good, uh, do not make the mistake or are hungry, blah blah blah, alright. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Now. There's nothing else in here, right, that I can just faff about with? Nope. Oh wait, it did say that Blacklight reveals secrets. Is there any secrets anywhere else? I didn't think of checking last time, but... Nope, there isn't. Alright. So, alright, we've done this. Uh, sitting interior, no light beside the open window. Alright, put that off. Ring off. You're here, the window's open. And... Uh, everything's good. And we already know what's happening. <laughs> Why so yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it, I know what I'm doing. Uh, 
right. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you. Listen to that applause, dearest. Yeah. Yes. All right, so... Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls. The stage is now set for you to... Describe the yule sign. And I will bestow upon right. you the smooch. You mean the smooches. Even now, your world... It's about to be enslaved. And your world... You are... All right, so far, everything is the same. Um... There are secrets in this one? There is not. Alright. Well. Uh, I guess we'll just do this and see what happens. Uh, the yellow sound is only visible drawable by those who have witnessed the performance of King in Yellow play, but exposed to the yellow sound after witnessing it performing the play King in Yellow will cause permanent irreversible obsession with the King Gordon Corcosa. Since you. Right. Uh, if you're content to spread your life with the kingdom, no. Dim all light, leaving your window open, and light black fire candle disallow other world the image to reveal themselves. Oh, so it's at this point you're supposed to see this. I guess I just kind of did the ritual without really anything, any other thought. But all right. So... Just draw the sign, I guess. Behold the yellow sign. Tell me, I cannot fathom how someone as common as my sister could have led you astray. Oh, alas, this is a problem of the past. As you are now the fully devoted servant that I see fit to invite to my court. We're gonna get another ending, right? All the husks they're bleeding from the chest onto their elegant robe, just like me. All these people, why? why? You're acting like you're staring at pure evil. Count of them, I do not I? kill or maim humans personally, nor do I cause the reality ending maelstroms your ex girlfriend does. I do this because it's what I live for, it's what I am. I am entropy, disorder, where things are built on relationships. Some of those has a wedding ring on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to bring. All right. Because. Yeah. Before. Uh huh. You would have. Been At least. All of my followers that. I yes. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists. You see. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists. We already see? said this, but it's fine. It's reality I've stolen away your most powerful asset. You, my thought are really becoming a muddle. The dizzying, luring glow of the yellow sun is sweeping me away. Soon, Lynetta will fade into obscurity. Less than a forgotten memory. She'll have never existed. Lynetta? Who's that? The only other god I know of is Esther. For this, I am ever so grateful. How to show my appreciation, I wonder. Double smooch. For this, I am ever so grateful. All right. for your eyes, dearest. Enslavement. Yay! We got another ending. Alright. So. Oops. Now the f final ending of the game. So, I have to do metamorphosis into this, then I have to do dark communion first, then the banquet, and that should piss her off all the way. So... Oh, handsome. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so we already know of this. Now, uh, like last time, 
Eldritch and Bray is very spooky. Don't worry about these steps. All you have to do is give her a big old hug. I'm sad I didn't get to give her a hug, but it's fine. Now, now that it's done, grab this. I'm wearing my robe, everything's fine. Go in here, look in the mirror, touch the mirror. And this happened, so that's just glorious. Alright, now. Let's go with the next thing. A setting interior, well lit, alright. Maybe also let her in, that's kind of important as well. Alright, so uh, the interior is well lit. I am wearing everything, so let's go with this. And now, blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes. Next one. Alright, blah, blah, blah. We go. Yay, success! Yes, we already seen this, so everything is good. Now, uh, wait a minute. We have to switch it out. Uh, this is fine. Performing this ritual after, yes, but if you perform it before it, though, what happened? Let the room be well lit, where no robe or necklaces have the offering on your person. I am unclear if I actually... Uh... I guess I'm good. Slightly unclear, but probably alright. Uh, I have the offering on my person and do this. No robes. But I don't have robes, didn't I? Wait, did I read that wrong? Wear no robes or necklaces. But I'm not wearing robes though. And the necklaces is This game seemed to be having a few issues. Alright. Let's try this again. Hey! Do you remember the last time we did this? So, you know what happens next. One last ritual. But don't try anything while I'm sleeping this time. Uh, don't look well, I won't. Well, I will, really, but it's fine. All right, and now this has happened. A retrieving gradient from cold storage light, red fire candle, allow the king into the room. So red fire, the king. Don't worry about uh, Lynetta just sleeping here, it's fine. Uh, uh, retrieving gradient, we have an ingredient, everything's fine. Do not make a mistake of hungry guests, and... I'm not going too fast, though. You already used my supplies to cook for Donetta. All that's left is the leftover from her dark community. You must be kidding! You were seriously planning on serving this to me? Yes. Wait, I can explain. Please, do. I'm a bachelor, and my, my fridge is filled with condiment and nothing else. That's normal. That actually kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I have nothing. Your leftovers for a king? How humiliating! If you would serve your king leftovers, who, pray tell, did you find worthy of the feast? Uh, she's not sleeping on the bell so bed, so don't worry about it. She's on to me. She's gonna figure out I serve it to Lynetta. I heard heavy chain dragging nearby. Alright. I, I just got hungry. I skipped breakfast this morning, so... Feast on your own because you were feeling peckish. Well, I mean, feast, you don't know that. So, the person you think deserves to eat before the king does is you? Yes. Such self idolatry is a serious crime against me, God King and heiress to Carcosa. Conveniently, the punishment for blasphemy and treason is the same death. <sighs> what a shame. I thought you had some potential, but you're a totally worthless servant in the end. You don't know that. Oh god, she's serious. I'm seriously going to die here. Wait, what if I did something to the, to appease you? Then would my crime be forgiven? I am God King. All 
is as I say. <laughs> if I wish for you to be pardoned, then it shall be so. <laughs> Perhaps if you grovel on your hands and knees, I can let you off lightly. Get behind her, grab her waist, and then suplex her. This solves every problem. Except if you have back problem, it's only gonna make them worse. I immediately drop onto a full prestation bow. Please forgive me, let me make, let me make things up to you, I beg you. <laughs> you look so pathetic like that! <laughs> Very well, you shall be... I'm a lowly worm, forgive me, but don't let me off with a harsh punishment first. Uh, you... Don't you think you said that too willingly? Oh, she's getting excited. I'm just checking, but... You're not enjoying this, right? No. N no, yes. Oh, you shameless pig! You're lower than... <laughs> this is what you were about to try to feed me, right? Then this will be your trough, swine! This doesn't look the same, but you know what? I'm on it. Oh, you want... You want a bite, even though my lips have touched it? Open wide, and don't drop a single morsel. I won't forgive you if you make a mess on my gown. A juice-soaked morsel from leftovers shoveled into my mouth. It filled greedy with an unusual texture like it's covered in thousands of small hair. It's the same as last time, but let's read it anyway. It tastes strangely. I can't even begin to guess what food this used to be. I try to gulp it down before I can taste it, but it's too big to swallow whole. If I just bite it in half once and swallow the piece, I might get get it down before I gag. As I bow down, it bursts like a tomato, filling my mouth with sweet juice. It tastes extremely fruity, sort of pineapple-y even. That is... that is good! It's better than good, it's great. It's godlike nectar, instantly addictive ambrosia. More, I need more. It's too delicious to have just one bite. It's seriously like nothing else. As soon as I swallow, I feel the immediate effect of withdrawal. My fond memory of any other food fade to other disgust. The mere thought of even eating anything else make my stomach churn. I greedily take another bite, filling my mouth with as much as I can. The smooth nectar or bursting from every bite swim around in my mouth, coating every surface. It's so delicious that it makes my mouth tingle. Huh? Did I just bite my cheek? Why do I taste blood? The dull tingling suddenly turned into a sharp sting, then into an unbearable burning. My whole mouth feel raw, like I'm gargling acid. It's like my mouth has been digested. I lurch to spit it out, but my willpower failed me. I just can't bear to spit it out. It's too good. The food fall out of my mouth with a splat, as a heap of bloody viscera. It might be my, it might be imagination, but I swear I spat out twice as much as I put in my mouth. The horror. <sighs> Wipe away that sour expression, dearest. The next act is about to begin. And everyone will be watching. Yay! The final ending! Uh, I don't have robes on me, do I? Alright. Uh, setting interior, no light beside the open window. You've got it. That's good. Okay. Also this. Window is open. Let's go, for the final ending. The, uh, oh, well, why am I reading this? We already know all this. <laughs> why so livid? It's your actions that permitted... Uh-huh, uh-huh, you don't say. Mm -hmm. It's not time to mess it up. <laughs> if I fuck it up now, I'm gonna be mad. Yes, yes. Success. Alright. Thank you! Oh, listen to Yeah, 
Yes. Yes. Smiles, dearest. Why like when you use a stage knife, yes. Oh, with sweet sorrow. The stage is Sentence crab, Do yellow this? sign. You mean the smooches you promised, plural. Even yes, now, yes, yes. Your world is a Mm -hmm. And you're worried about smooching? You yes. are an interesting human. Alright, so, so far so good. I just have to inscribe this, right? And then we get the final ending? I would think. Yes, yes, yes. So, only visible, uh, being exposed to your sun. I have to make everything dark except for what needs to be lit. If you can then spend your life with the king, dim all light, leaving your window open, and light the black fire candle. All right. Well, let's see what happened. Sign. Oh, I presume you are wondering about those smooches, huh? Yes. Tell me, does a servant that betrays his master only to come crawling back to collect his reward deserve anything? Maybe. A little something. <laughs> You'll get nothing from me. Well, I take everything from you. So, no smooches. None. Not even two? If I wasn't going to give you one, why would you think I'd give you two? You know, I think I hate people that go back on their word even more than I love smooches. Hate? What's with that defiant tone? You're supposed to be under my control now. I feel that if you spanked her, she would actually like it. Say, so you're the embodiment of the light from your planet, right? Why, yes, I am. So in a way, the planet Star Carcosa is also you, right? Well, yes, but what could you possibly mean by asking that? It mean I just figured out a way to get the smooches you promised me, even if it mean taking this whole planet with me. Carcosa, what? Conju uh, conjugation? In the event that stage light failed mid-play, perform this ritual to bring Carcosa closer to your current location. Only use it in case of emergency and only cast it once. <laughs> Alright. Carcosa never must definitely this in. Hey, you're only supposed to cast that once. Carcosa is close enough. <laughs> in a second time. What are you doing casting that spell repeatedly like that? That spell... Only brings Carcosa within a dangerous distance to the Earth. But why do something so pointless? If you keep casting it, Carcosa will move closer and closer to Earth. Don't tell me. Yes, you got it. Are you trying to smooch my planet itself? Yes. <laughs> I got no explanation, he just go casting it again. Below. You're serious? Come now, we can be reasonable about this. If you crash Carcosa into the Earth, it'll be an extinction-level event for humanity. I'll lose every member of my court that I worked so hard to steal from Lynetta. There's no need to do anything drastic. You'll die instantly. Dying once or twice is a small price to pay for smooches. Yes! <laughs> Don't you like being with me? Think back to all the good times we had on our date. That was short. Uh, <laughs> <but> please. <laughs> and he casts it again. <laughs> You've met with a terrible end, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> and that was the final ending of the game. Ah, this game was short, but it was a lot of fun. So, if I check it out. True ending achieve. We got everything and we got absolutely everything everywhere. I don't know if there is a secret or anything. Oh, I thought maybe I could see. Wait. 
Can I see just the ending? I cannot. All right. It's unfortunate. Sucker for love. First date. I thought I could have the credit play and have the music that was so cool be here, but it's fine. So I'm going to call it quits right here. Oh, that was uh, that was fun. I hope you liked it as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. The only thing I'm going to ask of you is if you want to join the club. Become a subscriber so we can have fun together. And, and that's it. I'm not going to push anything else. So, like always, I bid you a glorious day. And I'll see you on the next whatever I do. Bye-bye.